the 2020 Whiskey Whistle 12 year old and under single malt scotch whiskey, whiskey of the year. Greetings my whiskey people, Mark here at Whiskey Whistle on YouTube, sharing a little whiskey awesomeness from Winnipeg, the center of North America, bringing you my 2020 Whiskey Whistle 12 year old and under single malt scotch whiskey, whiskey of the year, you heard it. Now we have yet again, we have a runner up and we have an outright winner for this category. And I was not expecting to have to re-record this. I recorded this you know, when I recorded the Bourbon Whiskey of the Year Award, which is Four Roses Single Barrel, you can check back to see that one. I had recorded a whole bunch of those fireside at uh, Elkhorn Resort here in Manitoba, but had to re-record it. And I'll tell you why, because that whiskey ended up becoming the runner-up because something nudged it out. It's still available now, but you're going to have to hurry up because it is going like hot cakes. So anyway, let me first of all present the runner-up for 2020 Whiskey of the Year here on Whiskey Whistle for the category of 12 years old and under. And it's this one right here. This was just released about three, two, three months ago. interesting I don't know how to describe this it's a real uh, the juxtaposition of sweet sherry notes with a little bit of peat and a little bit of island flavor when I smell this I can tell for sure that this is a major component in certain Johnny Walker um, releases. Now the color for sure is a little bit embellished. It should be lighter than that but not much because of its casking. It's got some interesting sherry cask finishing that, that, that's gone on here. And this one's available every year but different, different every year. The same but different. I get some hardwood smoke, no bark, no brush, just that, that, um, ready to, ready to burn hardwood. I get a tiny little bit of something like grenadine concentrate. And then you've got your your caramel, you've got a little bit of a little bit of vanilla bean. It's nice. Now the palette. Buttery soft. Slightly effervescent, slightly fizzy, slightly sherbety. The peat is understated here, slightly peppery, but not as much as its typical regular version. The finish is where you find a bit of pepper. It's also very candle waxy, like um, bee, um, beeswax candles. Hmm. Such an interesting palette. Really, really well balanced and a nice mix of your typical, you know, refill single malt scotch whiskey finished in very active sherry casks. Mm. Delicious. Well, time for the reveal for that runner up former former would be winner but now runner up for 2020 Whiskey Whistle 
12 year old and under single malt scotch whiskey. That folks is Talisker, the distiller's edition for 2019. Distilled in 2009, bottled in 2019. I'll just show that to you because I know the boxes don't show it. So there we go. Can you see it there? Beautiful whiskey. Now this is the American release. It's 750 milliliters. Thank goodness. Sometimes in Canada we get the 700s. Distilled in 2009. Bottled in 2019. Double matured. I think it's on the back here. The distiller's edition of Talisker is richer than the regular bottling. Wonderfully rounded and double matured in ex amoroso casks. With luscious fruity sweetness that perfectly, perfectly, perfectly complements the crisp dry peat smoke and familiar pepperiness of Talisker. And they talk about dark, dark chocolate here. Now, I don't think I get dark chocolate. Hmm. Right on the, um, the moment it hits your tongue, you get a slight little bit of dark chocolate but more like dark cocoa rather than chocolate. Delicious. Well, that's gonna have to go here. Okay, so Talisker, the distiller's edition, well done. Runner up, former winner, too bad. Too bad, so sad, but very delicious. And uh, I think from what I'm gathering, it's an excellent version of itself. The 2019 version. Oh, one final taste. Why not? Hmm. Right, and it's 45.8% ABV. That's the standard strength for Talisker. You get a lot of extra value when you buy Talisker because of its strength. Same with Kleinlish, which is over there in the corner. Bottled always at 46%. So you're getting great, great value there compared to Lagavulin, compared to Kalila, uh, Talwini, and um, uh, Craig and Moore, and um, Glen Kinchy, the classic malts. Talisker gives you a little bit better value. All right, now time to get on to the winner for 2020. Whiskey Whistle, Whiskey of the Year for the category of 12-year-old and under Single malt scotch whiskey. That's this one right here. And look at this color. Whoa. Look at the color. Very, very dark. This is well beyond copper. This is getting into the lighter end of mahogany. And it's slightly hazy already. Can you see that? There's a slight haze to this already. So they have done their very best to keep it as natural as possible. It's natural in color, it's unchill filtered, it's cask strength. Well, let's check out the nose. Cooked raisins. A little bit of prune juice. This one has some real dark chocolate here. There's a little bit of hot sauce. There's a slight little bit of um, hot chili here. So hot chili, dark chocolate, um, cooked, cooked raisins, prunes, a little bit of cooked cherries as well. Cherry chocolate, yes. Oh, well, I don't wanna to say too much because I still have to review this. So anyway, let me get onto the palate. Cheers, everybody. Hmm. Big, big dried fruit, dark fruits, dried raisins, those prunes. Hmm. The oatmeal cookies with the prune filling 
some real pepperiness on the palate. Hmm. The finish is juicy. There is a hint of peat just slightly woven throughout this. There's a little bit of a salty component. So like sea salt dark chocolate. The finish is chocolatey. The nose is chocolatey. Hmm. I really want to add a little bit of water to this. Ten drops of water. That's about oh a little bit less about a half a half a milliliter of water let's see what happens here it brings out the cherry chocolate note beautiful yes oh that's nice and a slight little bit more of peat Hmm. Slightly drier with water added. Fairly similar palette. Again, a little bit more of this cherry chocolatey note. And the finish is, I think, a little bit better neat than with water added. Hmm. This might be the very best from this distillery since it opened. That's a hint there. Well, set that back. Whoops. Got the dropsies today. Good thing I didn't drop a bottle. Good thing I didn't drop this bottle because I've dropped this bottle before. And uh, somebody in the Facebook group known as Scotch Addict. Hello, Scotch Addicts. Yes, it's Mark Kaufman here. I'm a moderator. Thanks to uh, all of the other moderators for electing me about a year ago. It's been about a year, about 10 months, I guess. Hello to Alan Brody. Hi, Alan. Well, let's get on to this. Anyway, so that guy in Scotch Attic, he said he thought, judging from my comments, he figured that this would win. <laughs> and he's right. You know, uh, I tried it again and again and again to be sure. I wanted to be sure. But anyway, the winner, and this is the first repeat winner here on Whiskey Whistle. So you may know what it is if you've been watching. This is Kilcarran from Glen Gyle Distillery. Kilcarran, eight year old, 57.1% ABV. Now, Interestingly, they don't put anything on the label that tells you about the, the casking. This is very interesting. Not chill filtered, no added coloring. Eight year old matured in oak. Well, that is Oloroso Sherry Oak, I believe. But it's Sherry, obviously. Very interesting that they don't put that on the label because that would be a big selling point. But at least that way, that way they only have to make this label once and just change the ABV every year. And same with the back, they don't have to redo that. So I get that, I appreciate it. The only way you know what you're having is by the ABV here. So 57.1% ABV, and uh, that's the new Kilcarran eight year old. Delicious stuff. I think we got to take naked grouse and put that down because this one needs to go up there as the I want to say the um, the runner-up to overall winner of the year but the outright winner for 12 year old and under here on whiskey whistle anyway delicious stuff one more taste here I got to take another taste of this you have to get one 
And if you can't get one and you're in Canada, let me know and I'll send you a sample. I'll send um, five people a sample of Kilcarran eight-year-old. If you're watching this and you'd like one, um, just uh, just comment and I'll get in touch with you, okay? So if you want a sample of that, let me know. It calms down. Mm. Beautiful. The finish actually has calmed down a little bit. Not as dry. Still very, very chocolatey. Delicious cherry chocolate. Beautiful. Mm. Oh, man. This is the whiskey you're looking for. This may be one of the best whiskeys that I've had to date. And it's only eight years old. Deserves a malt hug. Absolutely. Oh, kill Karen. So happy to have you back. Please don't break. And a malt kiss. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you jump in and join the Whiskey Whistle crew on Patreon. Support the channel here on Whiskey Whistle. Patreon.com backslash Whiskey Whistle. That'll get you there. And subscribe to the channel. Hit that little emblem right here. And hit the bell up at the top. Ding, ding. That way you're notified of future Whiskey Whistles coming. Uh, you'll be notified via your email inbox or by notifications if you've got the app. Okay. Anyway, stay tuned. We have yet the 2020 Whiskey Whistle World Whiskey of the Year to come. That's the last one right there. Better keep that closed. So stay tuned for that. Take care, everybody. We'll see you for the next one. Goodbye now.